Come here, motherfucker. Come here. Yeah, that hit. Yeah, you can't punch me because I'm behind you, bruh. I'm a fucking Mike Tyson, bruh. He killed. I don't even have a fucking gun. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? DP here, and welcome back to another episode of Training Grounds, The Gun Guide. A lot of you requested this, and I'm going to try my best to give you guys as much detailed descriptions about all the guns in the game, of course, except... For the pistols, let's face it, unless it's the beginning of the round, the pistols don't really matter towards the end. I know a lot of you are praising the Glock, but you're not going to bring a Glock to an AR fight at Final Circle. I'm also going to have timestamps for each and every gun in the description down below. So if you have a favorite gun that you want to just skip to, you can go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to basically talk about the four main categories of guns in PUBG at the moment. Shotguns, sniper rifles, SMGs, and of course, ARs. What it is, role playing. Mm. Mm. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm trying to role play here with my cat. Now, my initial intent with the gun guide was to make one big giant video, but we took a poll on Twitter and the majority of you voted for four or five separate videos, including maybe one separate video for just DMRs now that they've introduced the new Mark 14. I'm also going to try my best to show the damage meters of each and every gun in the game. You can take a little bit of time to pause the video if you like and see what your favorite gun does with the proper armor rating that your target is wearing. So let's get started with the S1897. Now, the S1897 is a pump action shotgun that holds five buckshots. They're 12 gauge buckshot shells and it has a max capacity of five shells. The damage dealt by this gun is insane, especially in CQC. It does 25 damage per pellet and it holds nine pellets per buckshot. So you can only imagine that's over 200 damage and it only takes 100 to kill somebody. <laughs> I called it! It does come with two standard attachments, a choke and bullet loops, which are fairly common in most buildings. The choke will narrow the spread of the bullets as they come out the shotgun. So you'll actually have more effective range with a choke than without one. As far as the bullet loop's concerned, that's quicker, faster reload time for the gun itself. Now, I will say this. The gun is very effective in close quarters and also in mid-range battles. I'm talking about maybe 50 meters, but nothing more than that. You're going to notice very quickly that with greater distance, you're going to need more shots, even if your target is not wearing a helmet or a vest. The gun also falls short on one more thing. If you are in CQC battles with this gun, you better not miss because the reload time on or the pump action time that it takes you to get back onto your target is fairly long, sometimes long enough to get you killed. So let's go ahead and rate the gun on six different categories. The final outcome is going to be based off of a five star outcome with two decimal points one being the lowest and five being the highest. Let's start with damage. It definitely gets a 10. Range, not so good, three. Up, Stability, five. Ah, Rate of fire, sniper. five. Ammo capacity, definitely <laughs> a five. Attachments, fuck? only three points, which gives it a total score of 31 points and an overall rating of 2.58 stars out of five. My final thoughts on the pump action is that it is a monstrosity to have, especially in CQC. If you're clearing houses or if you're there with your teammates and you're on teaming servers or squad servers, it holds five buckshots and you can definitely take a whole team to the cleaners with that kind of firepower. Moving on, the next shotgun on the list is the S. 686. Now this shotgun takes the same 12 gauge buckshot that the previous one took. However, you can only equip two shells at a time, which makes for a, quite a bit of reloading in my case. Do you need to jump down? Fuck you. He's coming up. Oh, he's up. Oh shit. Oh, oh he's a shotgun. You got this. He's a shotgun. <laughs> This shotgun, in my opinion, is probably by far the best out of the three in the game, especially on solo servers where you don't have to deal with a lot of people. However, like I said, the downside on this one is that you only get two buckshots. So if you're on a squad server, it's going to be a lot harder for you to take down a team with only two shotgun shells. It makes for a really good secondary weapon, especially on solo servers when you have to deal with house campers. And I just think like sometimes in tight situations as well, when you're down to no life at all, this shotgun can be an absolute lifesaver. 
Yeah, here's this other guy. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. He's down. Be careful. Got the other one, got the other one. Woo! This gun is a must have in big cities, especially when you're trying to clear houses, lots of windows, tight corners with little holes all around you. Even people that get the jump on you will turn into little chunky bits once you're done with them with this gun. The S686 also comes with two attachments. Again, the choke and the bullet loops. It has a reload time of about three seconds. The recoil is fairly moderate. The draw time on this gun is 500 milliseconds. The recommended engagement distance is anything between 10 to 25 meters. Although me personally, I've taken out targets at 50 meters plus with this gun. And the fact that you can shoot off both rounds almost instantly, it just makes it a freaking beast in CQC IMO. It's definitely my go-to shotgun on solo servers, but I wouldn't recommend it to anybody on a squad server. Let's go ahead and rate the gun now. On damage, I gave it a 10. Range, four, a bit more than the pump action. Stability, five. Rate of fire, nine. Ammo capacity, only two. An attachment rating of three, which gives it a total of 33 points and an average rating of 2.75 stars out of five. <laughs> that felt good, buddy. I'll see you in the next game. It's time to talk about the auto shot of the S-12K. This shotgun is essentially a CQC AR. It takes all of its attachments just like an AR would. It's got a muzzle attachment, a scope attachment, and also a magazine attachment. Now I know a lot of you already know what magazine and upper rail attachments do, but I get a lot of people that come into my stream and ask me about the muzzle attachments. I'm gonna let the developer do the talking on this one so you guys have a better understanding of what muzzle attachments really do. Okay, so the compensator decreases the vertical recoil of the gun by a large amount. Flash hider changes the muzzle light and the particle effect. And it also applies the same small uh, amount of the compensator buff, but all uh, very small, but also applies some horizontal uh, recoil decrease in vertical. And suppressor makes very small change, like minimal change to uh, deviation, to the random spread, but it's, it's very small percent, and it decreases the attenuation range of your weapon, also changing the sample, uh, sample type, of course, for the suppressed weapon sound, and also applies uh, a little bit of spread, audio spread mechanics, so the sound is a little bit harder to locate, but it's just like, it's harder to pinpoint. You, you'll see it, still hear it from the same direction, it's just harder to pinpoint exactly like 10 or 20 degrees difference. And that's it. Now this shotgun is missing just a bit of power that the other two have. But in the interim, you can actually put on a quick draw extended magazine, which gives it way more superiority on squad servers. You're looking at a total of eight 12 gauge buckshot shells with about 22 damage per pellet, and it holds nine pellets per shell. You do the math, that's a lot of firepower in one gun. Now the time between shots is 0.25 seconds. It's a bit more than the double barrel shotgun. However, the fact that you have five rounds in the magazine makes it a serious contender on squad servers. The zeroing distance on this gun is about 25 meters. This one really does fall apart for anything more than 30 or 40 meters. And if you ask me, even though you can put a scope on this gun, I think it's a waste because like I said, you're gonna be using this gun mostly in third person over the shoulder. This gun really shines when it comes to houses, clearing houses, going door to door. The fact that you have five shells and eight with the extended mag gives you a little bit of room for error, especially if you miss your first few shots. My final thoughts on this gun is that it is a much more diversified shotgun than any of the others out there. You can use it on solo servers, on squad servers. You have a bit of room for error if you're a little derpy like I am. And the fact that you can actually put a suppressor on a shotgun, that's just a bonus. The final score for this shotgun is 38 points. Now I did deduct a few points for the damage and of course range, but it definitely made up for it in stability, rate of fire, ammo capacity and the attachments. That puts it at a total rating of 3.17 out of five. 
Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. That's it for this episode of Training Grounds Part 2. The shotgun guide is over. I really hope that this helps all the newcomers to the game better understand the ethos of shotguns in PUBG. The next one up is the submachine gun guide. Thank you so much to all of you that took a little bit of time on Twitter and voted for a five-part series. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. If you found the video fun and informative, please be sure to hit that like, guys. I really want to try and hit at least 200 likes on this video. It really helps me out make more content more guides more training grounds for you guys if you have any questions about the guide or any of the guns please be sure to hit me up on twitter i always check it even when i'm at work anyways i gotta get going make sure you hit that subscribe button before you get going i'll see you guys in the next episode stay strong best driver na